Hi, this is Sandy, and I'm going to show you how to. Uh, I've probably done this video, a uh, video similar to this before, but uh, I'm going to show you how to take a really tight echo and slice it. And in this case, we're going to slice it with the piece, peak slicer again, and uh, and then uh, play the slices, sequence the slices. Okay, so um, first I have to double click with the rate way down at the bottom now I got a nice little drum thing going here yeah I guess that's a pretty good note C sharp okay we'll leave it there okay now I'm just gonna get the desired amount of ring some slices. It's always a good idea to clear your slices if, if you've made any slices. If you haven't played or made any slices then you don't have to bother but I can't remember if I did or not. So I cleared them and now I'm going to set it to peak slice. Okay, tap some synth notes in there and such. Okay, so we're going to stop this and now we're going to play some slices that we created with Peak Slicer. Now because the echo is really tight and small, um, this is all you're going to get when you play the slices. So what you do is uh, you turn off the loop for slices. Now it just plays straight through. And if you put a clock in there, just find the clock to put in. able to access the first 16 because of the panel access is only one slice 1 to 16 so um, I'm gonna hook a CV in coming from the MI frames I think yeah and then that'll access more Set it. Now because all these are on the same note that was created by the really tight echo or the car plus whatever effect you want to call it, um, you can actually offset the rate CV with a sequencer and uh, it'll play notes at one volt per octave. So make sure that the attenuverter for the rate CV is all the way over. It's just playing these slices that were created, but because they're all basically on the same note. Now, I put some synth, odd synth things in there, but uh, so they'll change the, you know, change the slices a little bit, the sound of the slices. There's one. Not a great example. If you have more variety, it's, uh, it's, it's better. And then, of course, you can shift the whole thing. By going out of slice select and then just adjusting the rate. This is all assuming that you don't have the rate lock on, which is a new feature as of version 1.028.
so there you go. That's actually notes that are coming in from the Mod M. And the frames is uh, just picking the slices right now. I'll try a different one on the frames. apply effects like stutter to it. I like to use the fine stutter. And they will track also because it's the rate is being controlled, so as an octave down, in this case it sounds like an octave down. And then you can play effects it. I had it in uh, start end, so I should be able to play effects in reverse. So, you can get a real wide variety of sounds out of the reflex. Okay, so there you go. Give it a try, everyone. Thanks, bye. Thank you.